More now of our exclusive interview with a security guard positioned at one of Melbourne's quarantine hotels, breaking his gagging order and blowing the whistle on major failures within the system. Christine O'Hearn has that report. She joins us now from Melbourne. Chris, this is extraordinary. Explosive allegations are being made this morning. Yeah, that's right, David. A real concern for all Melburnians uh, because this hotel quarantine has been a problem for some time. The Victorian government, however, hasn't really addressed it until recently and it has been identified as the source of Victoria's second coronavirus wave. Now, we haven't had a security guard working in hotel quarantine speak on camera before. This is because of a contract they have to sign which basically gags them. But George, the security guard, decided to blow the whistle because he wants everyone to know about the lack of training the guards were given. Hotel quarantine. It was meant to keep COVID out. Instead, it's been the source of Victoria's second wave. Now, shock new revelations about just how these hotels were run with claims profits were put ahead of safety. What has happened is that the companies are like uh, made this pandemic into a profit making scheme. George has worked in a quarantine hotel in Melbourne as a security guard for three months. So George, describe your experience in hotel quarantine. Horrendous to tell you the truth. He is risking his job by speaking out because he signed a contract gagging him, but feels he has no choice. How much training did you get? Five minutes, yeah. And that was the, the, the PPE and, and, and everything, box of dice, and then you were sent up to your level. To make matters worse, the training was conducted by the head of the company's car park management. But the real problem, he says, has been subcontractors who were hired by security companies to work as guards at a much cheaper rate than their regular guards. Every hotel quarantine has subcontracting happening and that's the way the companies are making money out of this. Do you know if this is happening at the Stamford Plaza and the Ridges? Stamford Plaza, yes, definitely. How much experience do these subcontractors have? None. So security guards yeah. with no experience uh, are working in hotel quarantine? Yes. Kazim, a former security guard himself, is also a union liaison officer and has been speaking with security guards at our trouble-plagued hotels for weeks. He says subcontractors are working at several quarantine hotels at once, potentially spreading the virus. Wherever the main company asks them to go, they go. The practice was only stopped two weeks ago when the second spike emerged. Kazim also says PPE for guards is in short supply. This is your mask for the whole day. This is one glove for you for the whole day. On top of this, George says security numbers at his hotel were cut a week ago. How many security guards per level? At the moment, one. How many were there? Three. When, the, when was the change? Uh, approximately a week ago. Is that because you had less travellers in that hotel? Not at all. A government spokesperson told the Today Show, in some instances, contracted companies employed subcontractors or were bound by the standards in their service agreement with the Victorian government. All staff were required to undertake regular infection control training. It's now all the subject of a judicial inquiry to find out just how this could happen in hotels designed to protect Victorians. It's a money-making exercise, I guess, Christine. Now, you heard in that the Victorian government spokesperson saying that all staff, and that is from nurses to security staff, were required to undertake regular infection control training. However, there are more allegations with other security guards telling me that basically they were forced to... Or not forced, but they did sign documents saying that they understood uh, infection... Tra that they basically had undertaken infection training and understood the protocols. They described it to me as a box ticking exercise. Of course, all this will now form part of the judicial inquiry. More pressure on the Victorian government uh, to just uncover how this mess all unfolded. David? Extraordinary revelations there. Thanks for that.